is the Jason Walker Show. Two-time National Sports Media Association Montana Sportscaster of the Year. And three-time loser, the Jason Walker Show. The best local and statewide sports coverage. Featuring the biggest guests from Montana. Clint Rasmussen uh, joining us here on the Jason Walker Show. It's freaking exhausting, too. You used to dance a lot more. Yeah, I know, lady. I'm 51 years old now. The NAI Hall of Famers Mike Van Dees joining us here at Jason Walker Show. And is it just a deal where quarterbacks have to be good golfers? Well, that's all they have time for. They don't work out. They don't lift weights. <laughs> they don't do anything else. They might as well go get on the golf course and at least have some fun. And from across the country. Doug Gottlieb, I guess, here on the Jason Walker Show. And the day, remember, it, it's your show. It's got your name on it. Howie Mandela, our guest here. Jason Walker, deal or no deal? The Jason Walker Show, presented by Helena Accommodations. The in-town five-star extended stay residences. Visit HelenaAccommodations.com. Broadcasting from the major mortgage man cave, here's Jason Walker. Happy Tuesday, the Jason Walker Show, presented by Helena Accommodations. The in-town five-star extended state residences. Visit HelenaAccommodations.com. Here inside the major mortgage man cave on a Tuesday that is beautiful. Got out, took a little bit of a walk this afternoon. That was uh, that was nice. We got a big show coming up today. We got on this day in history and kind of a mediocre day. We're going to chat with about the uh, Major League Baseball Hall of Fame. And I know we don't talk a lot about national stuff, but I got a couple of baseball-related things I want to chat about today. We got some power rankings for the Frontier Conference from our intrepid reporter over at the uh, 406mtsports.com. And I actually don't disagree too much. We have some birthdays. We have a whole lot of stuff going on. The walk-off. Got a big night uh, coming up tonight. We're going to chat about what's coming up tomorrow. Bill Ingvall, the comedian, will join us uh, coming up here in about uh, 15 minutes or so. That is going to be a good time. And we're looking forward to uh, chatting with him. And it's not just about comedy. We're going to chat about something uh, important for guys, that, uh, especially over 50. Uh, so that's coming up. And uh, a whole lot more. But we're going to begin today by chatting about the news that came out of the Mining City earlier this afternoon, and it's great news for former Capital quarterback Kyle Sampson, who was hired at Tech. The interim tag was removed today by uh, Athletics Director Matt Steppen. Uh, Kyle will be, uh, Sampson will be introduced tomorrow at a press conference uh, at 4 o'clock, right when the show gets going, uh, down in the Mining City. This is good news for Kyle, and he was the offensive coordinator last year. We know how good he was at Flathead as the head coach and offensive coordinator. We know how good Tech's offense was a year ago, one of the top rushing uh, teams in the frontier. Jed Fike went down early, the all-conference All-America running back, uh, but the Ord Diggers still averaged nearly 200 yards on the, game, uh, on the ground per game. They had uh, 25 rushing touchdowns. And that was double what they had the year before when they only had 12 rushing touchdowns. They threw five interceptions, which was a league low last season. Uh, you had sophomore wide receiver Trevor Hoffman cross the 1,000-yard barrier. And just the fourth or digger to ever do that in history. And then Blake Counts, who ran under Samson at Flathead High, uh, averaged four and a half yards a carry as a freshman with 839 total yards. And remember, he only played about half the season uh, full-time. But this is a great, great hire. And we mentioned Samson was at Flathead. He was there for five years as the head coach. They went to the uh, state championship game in 2018, lost to Billings West. They were in the playoffs three out of the five years that Samson was in charge up there in the mining, or uh, in Flathead Valley, rather. And it's just a, it, it's, I'm very happy for Kyle, who's become a, a good friend of the show, and uh, this is awesome for him. He was also uh, the offensive coordinator, quarterbacks coach, for seven years at Northern under his dad, Mark, and the Lights offense was ranked in the top 10 nationally then from 2011 to 2013. When he was at Capital, he was a three-time all-conference selection at Northern. He was a 2006 Rizal State at Capital, won a state championship. Was the 06 Frontier Conference Offensive Player of the Year, 
5,300 plus yards passing in his career in the frontier. And remember, this dude started his career with the Grizz his freshman year and then transferred over to Northern. 1,500 yards, almost 1,600 yards rushing, 62.1 career completion percentage, and he had 45 total touchdowns in his time at Northern. Uh, in a statement released by Montana Tech, Samson said, quote, I'm so grateful to Mr. Steppen, Dr. Cook, the hiring committee for their belief in me and my vision. I want to thank my family, my wife, Brooke, our three kids, uh, my parents for other love and support. I'd also like to personally thank Coach Morrell for all he's done for me and his mentorship this past year. I hope to continue to build on the foundation he's established. And quote. So Kyle Sampson taking over for Chuck Morrell. Is this a good hire at Montana Tech? I mean, I'm, I'm asking you. Do you think this is a good hire? You can vote on the Twitter at Jay Walker Sports at Jason Walker Show. Yes, because he's a great young coach, or no, because he's still unproven. You can get your votes in and let us know what you think. I think it's a great hire. I think it's fantastic. I think it's a home run hire for Montana Tech and for Kyle Sampson. And I think it's uh, it's going to do. I mean, this guy is proven in the Frontier Conference at MSU Northern of all places, and then he had great success at the high school level. So I think it's a great, great hire for Montana Tech. But you can cast your vote. You can vote on Facebook. You can also uh, on the Jason Walker Show Facebook page. You can also, like I said, tweet us at J Walker Sports at Jason Walker Show. You can. Let us know on the Podbean what you think as well in uh, YouTube. Speaking of, those are the places you can listen and watch live. You can listen live on treasurestateradio.com. Uh, and download, if you don't have it, on the Google or the Apple stores. And uh, don't forget, you can email us anytime, jasonwalkersports at gmail.com. And go to the new website, jasonwalkershow.com. We're proud of it here at uh, Jason Walker Show. So check it out. Tatum Curtis did a great job. Tatum Curtis Design did a great job uh, getting that uh, up and running for us. If you missed anything from the past, you can go there and download whatever you want from the past shows, at least from December. We're still working on the old shows from way back from last year. So continuing with Montana Tech and Kyle Sampson. So, who runs the defense? We know, we know Samson's going to run the offense. So who runs the defense? And that's a, that's a very good question. And, you know, Samson beat out some really good candidates and, and candidates, I'm told, you know, that have previous coaching experience in the frontier and the big sky. I was told that B.J. Robertson wanted to get back into the head job leaving Montana State. Didn't happen. I was told Ty Gregorick wanted to get a, a head job. And obviously that didn't happen. So who runs the defense? Is it going to stay with Nick Brautigam, who was the defensive coordinator brought in last year under Chuck Morrell, or does he leave? Here's a name I wanted you to think about. Maybe not this year, but down in the future. Would Matt Upham leave Flathead and follow Samson to Tech? Upham, the former Helena High star, Carroll College star, took over for Samson at Tech as the head coach or at the uh, Flathead this past fall when Samson went to Tech. So got a couple of Facebook comments rolling in. Um, got a, a great hire. And then, of course, you know, capital people, Bruin, born, Bruin, bred, be a Bruin until you're dead. Okay. Um, I'm not a Bruin, so I can't. I, I, but here's the thing, like I go back to, would Matt Upham leave Flathead after one subpar season, but he had a great defense under Samson. Upham also had a great defense this last year. He just didn't have the horses that he had in the past. And when he took over play calling duties, Flathead got better this last year. But would, would Upham leave after one year as the head guy and maybe go down to be an assistant at Tech under Samson? Interesting. Would a Carroll guy go to Tech to be an assistant? That is the question. That's the question. But <laughs> you can vote on uh, if Samson was a good hire at Tech. Go to at Jay Walker Sports or at Jason Walker Show on the Twitter. You can vote on the Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash the Jason Walker Show. 
You can also vote on YouTube, Podbean, email, and uh, whatever avenue you want to get a hold of us. And uh, early voting has uh, Samson yes by basically 67 to 33%. So I like the hire. I really, really like the hire for Kyle Samson. And we're going to get him on the show hopefully this week. Again, that press conference is coming up tomorrow, the official introduction of Samson at Montana Tech. It'll be at 4 o'clock. All right, we're going to take a break. We still have... um, I oh, just got a great, great Facebook message from Sue, and Sue uh, is a capital uh, person as well. But um, when I asked you if a Carroll guy could coach at Tech in Matt Upham, if he could, if he would go there, uh, Sue goes a BYU co- guy coaches at Utah. So there you go. I, th- I don't. Ugh. I like it, Sue. I like it. I just I can't picture. Can you picture? Well, Samson wore, you know, he was a northern guy, and now he's at Tech. But can you picture a Carroll guy wearing the green of Tech down the road? I don't, I can't. I can't. I, I just, I, I, I can't see it. But maybe I'm wrong. But Samson's going to do a great job, a bang-up job at Montana Tech, and I'm very, very, very happy for him. Like I said, great friend of the show, and uh, got to know him very well when he, uh, his first year up at Flathead. So he's a great guy, a great coach, and he's going to do a heck of a job down in the mining city. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we are going to check in with... Uh, I saw a headline yesterday. It was kind of floating around, um, but it was from Idaho, Lewiston, Idaho newspaper. And, you know, they're uh, just south of Moscow, Idaho, which is where the Clinker sisters play, who are former Fairfield girls. An unfortunate headline, but it's kind of funny. So we're going to share that when we come back. And especially if you're watching on the Facebook or on the YouTube, you'll really appreciate it. I'll have to explain it on the other avenues. But it's whatever that's coming up. Um, we got a rodeo update as well, and also uh, the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame. Will Derek Jeter be a unanimous selection? And should he? Should he even be considered for the Hall of Fame? I'll tell you that coming up as well. But when we return here on the Jason Walker Show inside the Major Mortgage Man Cave... Comedian, actor, funny guy, Bill Ingvall will join us. And he's going to talk about comedy and something you need to pay attention to, guys, especially if you're over the age of 50. Yes, we are going to talk prostate when we come back with Bill Ingvall next on The Jason Walker Show. More of The Jason Walker Show coming up. Have you thought about buying a home and just don't know where to begin? Well, when it comes to one of the most important purchases one can make, we understand it can be frustrating and confusing, but it doesn't have to be. Let the Major Mortgage Team help you with all your mortgage needs. Major Mortgage means major service, and we would love the opportunity to help you today. Give J.R. McFadden, NMLS number 1246357, a call today at 406-465-1918, or you can visit him at 2001 11th Avenue, Building A, Suite 3 in Helena. Major Mortgage is a division of AMCAP Mortgage, NMLS number 129122, equal housing lender. Everyone knows about Dinners Done Right and the convenience of the cook and carry cuisines. It's so easy to just stop by and you have something for dinner that night. But there's also one more thing you need to know about. Dinners Done Right Grab and Go Salad Bar. Yes, I said salad bar. Always the freshest ingredients along with a daily soup and nacho bar too. So the next time you are in a rush or you just want to eat healthy, stop by Dinners Done Right for the soup, salad, and nacho bar. For monthly menus and more info, it's dinnersdoneright.com. The holidays have come and gone, and now is a good time to treat yourself to what you really wanted. A full detail for your vehicle from Auto Concepts. Right now, Auto Concepts is offering a full detail for just $195. Or maybe you want to tint those windows. Auto Concepts does that too. Get that tonneau cover or bed rug you've always wanted and add in remote start, alarms, running boards, lift kits, toppers, winches, bug guards, grill guards, and much more. Check out Auto Concepts on Facebook or visit the website autoconceptshelena.com. Auto Concepts, the auto enhancement professionals. 
Yes, it's true that Montana is a long way from the Gulf Coast, but you can bring that Cajun flavor home with a stop at Cafe Zydeco. From po' boys to classic sandwiches, Cafe Zydeco has all the best Cajun in town. Are you in the mood for seafood gumbo or crawfish etouffee? Maybe you're craving jambalaya with some shrimp and grits. Head in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or call ahead for pickup or delivery. Cafe Zydeco will fix all your southern cravings, even on a chilly Montana day. Cafe Zydeco is a proud sponsor of The Jason Walker Show. Welcome back to the Jason Walker Show. Welcome back, Jason Walker Show, presented by Helena Accommodations, the in-town five-star extended stay residences. Visit HelenaAccommodations.com. Inside the Major Mortgage Man Cave here on a Tuesday. Still to come, we're going to talk some uh, rodeo. By the way, tomorrow, Flint Rasmussen will join us. Give us a PBR update. The Lockwood brothers riding against each other. Jess and Jake. Jess with a big win last week in New Hampshire. But Flint will talk to us uh, tomorrow. Got a special, that's what she said, coming up tomorrow as well. So you'll want to stay uh, around for that. Um, What else we got coming up? Uh, The walk-off is still to come. Got a lot going on still today. But um, I want to. I'm, I'm excited about this. We get to talk to some great, great people across the uh, state of Montana in the sports world. We also get to talk sometimes to guys like Howie Mandel and and guys like uh, well, our next guest. He is a funny guy. He was part of the Blue Collar Comedy Tour for a long time. He's been a, a comedian for a very, very long time since the early '90s. Uh, but really got his start in the mid to, to late 90s, and then it's uh, just taken off. But uh, had a chance to, to catch up and talk. Um, guys, if you're over 50, this is very important for you, and, and ladies too, about your husbands or your boyfriends, especially as they get older. But Bill Ingvall will join us uh, now in the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline, and uh, it was a fun conversation we had a little bit earlier today. <laughs> Hey, how are you guys? Good, what's up, man? Hey, you know, I'm just living the dream. I get a chance to talk about frequent urination, which I think everybody wants to talk about uh, on the radio show. But um, Bill Ingvall, Dr. Uh, Joe uh, Detroio joining us here, Jason Walker Show. Um, Bill, first question for you I got to ask is, um, you're back out on tour, and you're going to be up in the Montana area with Washington uh, and Idaho tour dates this week. How fun is that? Oh, you know what? It, uh, the, the road is uh, is fun for me uh, because that's where I get to meet the fans, and uh, you know, I, I I've got to do blessed to do TV and movies and stuff. But I always say the best show is the live show because you never really know what's going to happen. How hard is it to come up with new material because you have such great old stuff? <laughs> well, let me tell you this. When I first started, I had a well of material, and I had that pointy shovel, and I was just slinging bits everywhere. <laughs> After 40 years of this, it, the, the well starting to get a little low, and I got that square face shovel, and I'm, but I'm still fine and stuff. <laughs> uh, as, as long as there's people out there, I'll have material. You've always talked about personal and family issues in your comedy. At what point did they become okay, or have to become okay with that? Uh, let's just say this. My family has been very patient, but they also enjoy the perks of the business. <laughs> very well said. Very well said. I like that. Uh, Bill Ingvall and Dr. Joe DeTrolio joining us here. Jason Walker Show on the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. You've had uh, numerous TV shows, including most recently with Last Man Standing. What's more fun? Is it TV or stand-up? Uh, for me, I mean, it, I, I guess the answer is they're, they're different kinds of fun. Uh, stand up I love because I'm the boss you know uh, I decide what's going to happen and when it's going to happen TV is fun because it's it's TV Uh, but you also run the risk of you know I may have a 20 some odd year old executive tell me what what they think is funny and they think I should do and I've got to then say okay you know (laughs) Uh, but I I like stand up because it's it's kind of a high wired act without the net, you know. It's, uh, and, and you also get the instant response. If I do a joke, sucks. I know right away. You know, I can go and take the best TV show as possible, and you really don't know the results of it. Uh, so. 
So uh, I, I always bow to stand up. Bill Ingvall and Dr. Joseph Detroit, and we'll ask Dr. Joseph some questions here in a second, but um, who's funnier on set, you or Tim Allen? Oh, me. <laughs> I don't doubt that. No. I don't doubt that at all. No, Tim is, Tim is hysterical. In fact, uh, <laughs> we just taped one not too long ago where it was Tim, me, and Jay Leno, and that was probably one of the funnest shows I've ever done in my life. Because in between the takes, it was just a joke. That, like, we were all trying to come up with a better joke. Sure. You're trying to one-up each other because that's what comedians do, right? Yeah. And, and, and I will say this, Jay won. <laughs> well, I have no, I have no doubts about that, uh, Bill. You partnered up. Uh, you know, we've seen the commercials about frequent urination, prostate health. You partnered up with a vitamin supplement to help raise awareness of uh, prostate health. When did your body say, "Here's your sign, time to get to the doctor"? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, two years ago, uh, I noticed that I was uh, not sleeping through the night as much. Uh, when I would go to like a sporting event, uh, like or play out playing golf, that I was trying to, I caught myself trying to, you know, having to find a bathroom more often, and I kind of got kind of freaked out about it because uh, you know my dad was a doctor, and uh, so I knew that, that that's a sign of something. So I went to my urologist and got checked out, and thank goodness everything was fine. And he just told me that they said, "Listen, you're getting older. You put a lot of miles on your body. Your prostate's enlarging as it does naturally." Uh, and you may want to think about some uh, vitamins or something. Uh, and so I stumbled across Urinazine, and they put me in touch with Dr. Joe. And uh, i got to tell you something. This is a great vitamin. Uh, it, I, I don't want to say, I'm not telling you that it's going to prevent cancer or cure cancer. But what it does is it replaces the natural vitamins that we used to get in our system. And uh, I will tell you this, that I wouldn't be talking to you if I didn't believe in this product. I've been taking it now, and I'm sleeping pretty much through the night, and I have to pee way less often than I used to. Well, I, I get up about two or three times a night, and it doesn't matter how much I've drank uh, water or whatever the night before. It's, it's, a, it's a recurring thing, So, and I'm only 44. Um, I guess I have a few more years to wait. Uh, Dr. Uh, Joe uh, Detrolio, you've been a doctor for a long time. And you've been a urologist. You're certified both in America and uh, in the European Urological Association. How important is this conversation we're having today? I mean, this is the main reason that Bill and I have teamed up to do this. It's important to get the message out to the guys to get checked out because men uh, don't normally go to doctors unless they absolutely positively have to. And our goal is to get you into a situation where you're comfortable seeing a urologist or a general doctor and getting checked out and just look for the early warning signs that, you know, the general public may not see and the doctor be able to identify and keep you out of trouble, which is really the key in life, give you the best life you possibly could have. The, uh, uh, the drive is, is called FU and it's frequent urination, but Dr. Joe, when you, when you talk about this with guys and how, what's the biggest... How do you get them in? I guess that's the biggest selling because, like you said, most guys don't want to go to a doctor unless they absolutely have to. But how do you get them in and convince them this is for your health and your family's security down the road? Uh, I think Bill's right in, in that, you know, that usually it's a, it's a family discussion and the wife will say, look, you're, you're getting up more frequently. Something's going on. Let's get checked out. Now, you take in your own case, you're going to the bathroom frequently. It doesn't matter what you drink. Well, that just could be the, the way your biological clock is set. But it'd be nice to know that there's nothing else going on. The most important thing is, is there a change in the way you normally live your life? And if there's a change, that's your body's way of telling you something's different. Something is not right here. Something's different. And as our, as our age takes place, the prostate gets larger more sensitive to the chemicals you're exposed to, the caffeine, spicy foods, a lot of salt. All that's going to be processed by your body and go out through the urine and it's going to irritate you. And the prostate lets you know it's irritated. Because if it lets you know it's irritated, you got to go to the bathroom and you got to do it. Dr. Joe Detroit uh, and, and Bill Ingvall, I guess. Bill, I want to come back to you. we got a couple of uh, minutes here left, but... Um, 
this this type of subject with FU and frequent urination obviously is going to be a big part of your uh, stand up moving forward. And have you always, I mean, you've always, like I said, talked about personal issues. You find that the audience responds better with your more personal instead of just making jokes up on the you know on the side of the road somewhere. Oh, without a doubt. Uh, I think you know when people come to a comedy, like when they come to my show, I think they want to know that you're like them, that you go through the same stuff that they do. You know, whether it's arguing with your wife, or whether it's the kids driving you crazy, or whether it's uh, you know getting up here. Uh, and so, yeah, I think that's why, uh, you know, I think it's, for me, it's easier for me to say to someone in a joking way that, you know, uh, you know, to a, to, uh, to a bit that, you know, get yourself checked out. Uh, it's not, uh, this is not, it's, it's not something you want to mess with. And I think, uh, uh, what a lot of guys don't understand about the prostate, and this is, this is right for comedy, is, that how, how big a role the prostate plays in your sexual activity. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I don't want to spend the rest of my life coming up with excuses of why I couldn't get it up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, oh yeah, but, you know, I, I'd rather get it fixed and have them say, hey, uh, I'd rather drive my wife crazy the other way. You yeah, know, yeah. like, like I want her to go, no, all right, enough. <laughs> <laughs> which, which, yeah, okay. I, I agree with that. I, I want to be a part of that too. Not with your wife, but maybe with mine moving forward. Uh, Bill, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know. I don't know your face. Oh, she's pretty hot. <laughs> yeah, yes, she is. So is my wife, though. So, uh, Bill Inval, uh, you can catch him on tour this weekend in Toppenish, Washington, and also Worley, Idaho on the 24th and the 25th. A big tour coming up, uh, runs through the end of May. Dr. Joe DiTrullio, uh, DiTrullio, we appreciate you guys joining us, talking about FU, frequent urination, and uh, have, uh, have fun out there, guys, and uh, Bill, be safe on the road, my friend. All right, Paul, you take care of yourself now. That was, uh, that was a lot of fun. Bill Engvall and Dr. Joe DiTrillio joining us. Uh, we taped that uh, earlier this morning, but uh, a very, very uh, interesting conversation, to say, to say the least. Bill Engvall's funny. I mean, come on. He might be my favorite of the, the, the four the blue-collar comedy tour guys. You know, Foxworthy, Larry the Cable Guy, Ron White, who's, who's up there as well, but... Um, but definitely, if for more info, you can uh, you know go to Bill Ingvall's website and uh, to get more info on uh, well his comedy, where he's going to be, and also uh, fu frequent urination. And I'm sure everybody loves that. Uh, that you get to say that you get to say fu, which hey f bomb right here. There you go. Um, but it's not. It's frequent urination, and it's a serious subject. And uh, you know it's. A guy like uh, Bill Ingvall can uh, turn it humorous. All right. Uh, appreciate them joining us earlier uh, today and uh, now on the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. For all your auto, home, and life insurance needs, it's Mike Miller State Farm. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to check in with the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame class of 2020. Who's in? Who's not in? And who got in that maybe shouldn't be in? We'll tell you when we come back. Jason Walker Show here, presented by Helena accommodations. The holidays have come and gone and now is a good time to treat yourself to what you really wanted. A full detail for your vehicle from Auto Concepts. Right now, Auto Concepts is offering a full detail for just $195. Or maybe you want to tint those windows. Auto Concepts does that too. Get that tonneau cover or bed rug you've always wanted and add in remote start, alarms, running boards, lift kits, toppers, winches, bug guards, grill guards, and much more. Check out Auto Concepts on Facebook or visit the website autoconceptshelena.com. Auto Concepts, the auto enhancement professionals. Yes, it's true that Montana is a long way from the Gulf Coast, but you can bring that Cajun flavor home with a stop at Cafe Zydeco. From po' boys to classic sandwiches, Cafe Zydeco has all the best Cajun in town. Are you in the mood for seafood gumbo or crawfish etouffee? Maybe you're craving jambalaya with some shrimp and grits. Head in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or call ahead for pickup or delivery. Cafe Zydeco will fix all your southern cravings, even on a chilly Montana day. Cafe Zydeco is a proud sponsor of the Jason Walker Show. Have you thought about buying a home and just don't know where to begin? Well, when it comes to one of the most important purchases one can make, we understand it can be frustrating and confusing, but it doesn't have to be. Let the Major Mortgage Team help you with all your mortgage needs. Major Mortgage means major service, and we would love the opportunity to help you today. 
Give J.R. McFadden, NMLS number 1246357, a call today at 406-465-1918, or you can visit him at 2001 11th Avenue, Building A, Suite 3 in Helena. Major Mortgage is a division of AMCAP Mortgage, NMLS number 129122, equal housing lender. Everyone knows about Dinners Done Right and the convenience of the cook and carry cuisines. It's so easy to just stop by and you have something for dinner that night. But there's also one more thing you need to know about. Dinners Done Right Grab and Go Salad Bar. Yes, I said salad bar. Always the freshest ingredients along with a daily soup and nacho bar too. So the next time you are in a rush or you just want to eat healthy, stop by Dinners Done Right for the soup, salad, and nacho bar. For monthly menus and more info, it's dinnersdoneright.com. Welcome back to the Jason Walker Show. Ah, Jason Walker Show inside the Major Mortgage Man Cave, presented by Helena Accommodations, the in-town five-star extended state residences. Visit HelenaAccommodations.com. Still plenty of time to go vote on our poll for the Jason Walker Show today was uh, Montana Tech. Uh, is that a good deal? As the, they hired Kyle Sampson. As uh, they took the interim tag off, Kyle Sampson's the new head coach of Montana Tech. Is that a great thing? Did they do the right thing? You can vote yes or no at J. Walker Sports or at Jason Walker Show on the Twitter. And uh, let us know. You can also vote on Facebook as well. Still to come... Our uh, breakdown of the Frontier Conference power rankings from 406mtsports.com. On this day in history, the walk-off. Got some big stuff coming up tonight and uh, this weekend as well. Bill Engvall, man, that was fun. Had a great time chatting with uh, him. Appreciate him joining us a little bit earlier. He'll be in uh, Washington, Toppenish, Washington, Friday, and uh, Worley, Idaho on Saturday. So if you're not doing anything this weekend and want to head out, there you go. All right. Support for the Jason Walker Show comes from Manscaped, who is the best in men's below-the-belt grooming. Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. You ever cut yourself, guys, when you're shaving? And it hurts, right? Doesn't matter if it's up here or down there. Well, I'm telling you, Manscaped has redesigned the electric trimmer. The Lawnmower 2.0 has proprietary skin-safe technologies. This trimmer, uh, trimmer will not snag and it will not nick. And accidents are a thing of the past. They, they absolutely are. And, and do this too. Get yourself a different razor. Don't use the same razor on the face as you do down below. That's just disgusting. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code WALKER20 at manscaped.com. That's W-A-L-K-E-R-2-0, WALKER20 at manscaped.com. And when you order... Make sure you get the crop preserver, an anti-chafing ball deodorant, and moisturizer. You already put deodorant on your armpits. Why not put it on the rest of your body, too? And guys, seriously, the 70s called. That decade wants its look back. It's not the 70s anymore. Okay? Get rid of it. Okay? Just do me a favor. Go to manscaped.com. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code WALKER20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off free shipping at manscaped.com. Use the code WALKER20, W-A-L-K-E-R, 20. All right, Major League Baseball Hall of Fame has been announced, the class of 2020. And getting in, Derek Jeter. He uh, is not unanimous. There was one person that did not vote for Jeets, the captain. Uh, maybe that one person, baseball writer, did not get a gift basket from Derek Jeter over the years. You never know. Uh, Jeets was a great player. He's into the Hall of Fame. 3,000 plus hits. And uh, all that. Good guy. Got married, has a couple of kids. Here's the thing. Had Derek Jeter not been a New York Yankee and the captain of the New York Yankees, if he had played for Kansas City, Minnesota, um, what's another small... If he had played for the Florida Marlins, Derek Jeter would not be in the Hall of Fame. Just my thoughts. 
he's in the Hall of Fame because of the team he played for and the captain that he was. But if he had played for, seriously, if Derek Jeter had played for the Colorado Rockies, he would not be in the Hall of Fame. But he is now, so congratulations. And I know the wife is going to yell at me for that one because she's a huge Yankee fan. She loves Jeter. Uh, also getting in, I don't think we're related because he's Canadian, but Larry Walker on his final year in the ballot is into the Hall of Fame. And everybody's, you know, he's the, he, he was a Colorado Rocky, first with the Expos in Montreal, but then with Colorado, his, you know, everybody talks about Coors Field and Mile High Stadium where he's also played. Um, did he have a benefit because of the higher elevation and all that, that talk? But Larry Walker on the road was just as good as Larry Walker in Denver. And that's very cool that Larry Walker is in the Hall of Fame. So those are the two that got in. So congratulations to them. There's one other, uh, one other baseball note I wanted to bring up, and I'm not sure if you saw this. So we all know about the cheating scandal with the Houston Astros and Boston Red Sox last week that came out and whatnot. Well, the Los Angeles City Council unanimously passed a resolution to ask Major League Baseball to strip the Astros and the Red Sox of the 2017-2018 World Series titles, which a lot of people are arguing for. They won't. But here's the kicker. The L.A. City Council wants Major League Baseball to not only vacate those World Series titles and strip the World Series titles, but then give them to the Dodgers. Which makes no sense. You lost. Your cheating in L.A. was not nearly as good as the cheating in Houston and Boston. Now, cheating is wrong. It's cost a lot of people their jobs. But, come on. Only in California, only in L.A. would this happen. Strip the Astros and the Red Sox of their World Series titles and award them to the Dodgers because, oh no, we lost. This isn't a participation trophy for you. But, there you go. Uh, you all know about the cheating scandal. I'm not going to get into it. It was, it was bad. So, there you go. Uh, some guy that uh, has done it the right way his entire life is now the head coach of Montana Tech, Kyle Sampson. And uh, I want you to vote on today's Twitter poll. You already know how I feel about this. Did Montana Tech make the right hire with Kyle Sampson? Yes. Great young coach. Or no, still unproven. I think it's a heck of a hire. I think it's a home run hire. I guess that since we're talking about football, I should say it's a touchdown of a hire for Montana Tech. Kyle Sampson's a great coach, and he's going to be at Butte for a long time. There is no doubt about that, and uh, running the ore diggers. So uh, there you go. Uh, get your votes in. Got a few minutes left. This is breaking news that just came out uh, just a few minutes ago. Uh, according to SkylineSportsMT.com, that's Coulter Nuanes, Montana State running back coach and recruiting coordinator Denarius McGee has taken an analyst position with the Houston Texans of the NFL. McGee, of course, the All-Big Sky football and uh, All-America quarterback at MSU from 09 to 13, has been coaching with the Bobcats since 2017, but he is now heading off to Houston, going back to uh, Texas, but uh, an analyst position with the Houston Texans. That's a big move for Daenerys McGee and well-warranted. Congratulations to uh, Daenerys, one of the all-time great Bobcats, and uh, very cool. I hope he has uh, great success there. All right, uh, what else did we want to talk about? Let's, uh, well, we're going to take a final break. And when we come back, we're going to run through our Frontier Conference power rankings. Sorry, Sue, I know you're a Bobcat fan. She just messaged us again on the Facebook. But um, it's a good move for him, Sue. Daenerys moving to Texas and working with the, the Houston Texans. That's awesome for him. Um, and he, the, Jeff Chote will replace, will replace Daenerys very well. Here, I thought about this. And I don't talk politics on this show. But I thought about this over the weekend. I don't care how you feel about Donald Trump. I don't care if you like him, if you don't like him. But if you're a Bobcat fan, everybody's given all the credit to Jeff Choate for being 4-0 against the Grizz the last four years. Well, since 2016 election, since November of 2016, 
when Donald Trump was elected, Montana State's 4-0 against the Grizz. So if you're in Missoula, you absolutely hate that. But if you're in Bozeman, you want, I mean, right? Do you, you want him reelected so that you can keep beating the Grizz? Uh, I just thought about it. I'm throwing it out. It's not, I mean, we don't talk politics. It was just a, a, a little tie in there. So anyway, um, <laughs> there you go. All right. We're going to talk frontier power rankings and uh, give you on this date in history, tell you what's coming up tomorrow. There's a big wrestling uh, match tonight in the Queen City and uh, a big weekend wrestling coming up as well. Anyway, okay. So we'll take a break. We'll come back. Jason Walker Show is presented by Helena Accommodations, the in-town five-star extended stay residences. Visit Helena accommodations.com everyone knows about dinners done right and the convenience of the cook and carry cuisines it's so easy to just stop by and you have something for dinner that night but there's also one more thing you need to know about dinners done right grab and go salad bar yes i said salad bar always the freshest ingredients along with a daily soup and nacho bar too so the next time you are in a rush or you just want to eat healthy stop by dinners done right for the soup salad and nacho bar for monthly menus and more info, it's dinnersdoneright.com. The holidays have come and gone, and now is a good time to treat yourself to what you really wanted. A full detail for your vehicle from Auto Concepts. Right now, Auto Concepts is offering a full detail for just $195. Or maybe you want to tint those windows. Auto Concepts does that too. Get that tonneau cover or bed rug you've always wanted and add in remote start, alarms, running boards, lift kits, toppers, winches, bug guards, grill guards, and much more. Check out Auto Concepts on Facebook or visit the website autoconceptshelena.com. Auto Concepts, the auto enhancement professionals. Have you thought about buying a home and just don't know where to begin? Well, when it comes to one of the most important purchases one can make, we understand it can be frustrating and confusing, but it doesn't have to be. Let the Major Mortgage Team help you with all your mortgage needs. Major Mortgage means major service, and we would love the opportunity to help you today. Give J.R. McFadden, NMLS number 1246357, a call today at 406-465-1918, or you can visit him at 2001 11th Avenue, Building A, Suite 3 in Helena. Major Mortgage is a division of AMCAP Mortgage, NMLS number 129122, equal housing lender. Yes, it's true that Montana is a long way from the Gulf Coast, but you can bring that Cajun flavor home with a stop at Cafe Zydeco. From po' boys to classic sandwiches, Cafe Zydeco has all the best Cajun in town. Are you in the mood for seafood gumbo or crawfish etouffee? Maybe you're craving jambalaya with some shrimp and grits. Head in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or call ahead for pickup or delivery. Cafe Zydeco will fix all your southern cravings, even on a chilly Montana day. Cafe Zydeco is a proud sponsor of The Jason Walker Show. Welcome back to the Jason Walker Show. Final segment here on a Tuesday, the Jason Walker Show, presented by Helena Accommodations, the in-town five-star extended stay residences. Visit HelenaAccommodations.com. Inside the major mortgage man cave, still uh, laughing about uh, our conversation with Bill Ingvall a little bit earlier on the show. If you missed anything from today's show or anything from November or December on wow you can go to jasonwalkershow.com and uh, get all the uh, latest info get uh, download uh, the past shows both visual and audio and that means uh, another visitor to the website which would be awesome by the way I love doing this if you go to the website scroll all the way down to the very bottom and it says Jason Walker, or stay up to date with the Jason Walker Show or something like that, sign up for our email list. It's not spam. We're not going to spam you. We're not going to you know, share it and sell it. None of that stuff. We just want you to know what's coming up on the Jason Walker Show each and every week. So if you do that, I'll send you to Cafe Zydeco after I get confirmation. Got a gift certificate to Cafe Zydeco to give away to the first, let's do the first two. How's that? Uh, still to come on this day in history, the walk-off, which is brought to you by Cafe Zydeco, is still to come as well. And uh, we had a, an unfortunate headline in the newspaper of Lewiston, Idaho. We're going to get to here in a second as well. Still time to vote on today's Twitter poll, at Jason Walker Show, at Jay Walker Sports. Uh, Kyle Sampson had the interim tag removed. 
uh, at Montana Tech. Is that a good move by Tech? Yes or no? And I say yes, but you can disagree with me if you want. We'll get the final results of that here uh, coming up momentarily. All right, so uh, I wanted to throw this in too. Led by a pair of first place finishes from Alexander Selberg, the Rocky Mountain Ski Team found success at uh, the U.S. Collegiate Ski and Snowboard Association's Rocky Mountain Conference meet at Winter Park, Colorado uh, over the weekend. Uh, the Rocky men's team finished with three top three times and six skiers in the top ten. On, or the three, top three times and six in the top ten in the slalom on Saturday. Salberg was first uh, with the best time on both runs. That's very cool. Uh, the women finished uh, four Batlin Bears in the top ten. And then on Sunday in the Giant Slalom, Selberg once again taking first. And the uh, Batland Bears will now race at the Stano Cup at Red Lodge Friday through Sunday. So there we go. A little ski action for you. All right. So the uh, latest power polls were released by our intrepid reporter Ryan over at 406mtsports.com. We'll start with the guys where there's a change. He has uh, LC State number one. They're seventeen to one. They're five and one on the frontier. They've uh, also on an eight game winning streak since uh, they lost to Carroll in early December. The lone loss of the year, by the way, for the Warriors. Uh, also with a five and one record, Carroll College, which dropped its first conference game because it lost at home to Western, according to Ryan. Yes, it was an upset. Um, I can't necessarily disagree with that. But Carroll has played a tougher schedule overall, frontier and non-conference schedule. Yes, they have three more losses than the Warriors. But I would probably keep, and that's not homerism, I'd keep Carroll at number one and LC at number two. In third, he's got Providence. They're four and two in the frontier. Makes sense. They have uh, lost uh, two of the last three, including road losses to Carroll and LC State. They get Carroll back this weekend at home. The Argos do. They're at Northern uh, as well this week, Thursday and Saturday games. Western, he has ranked fourth, two and four in the frontier. Because they beat Carroll, they also beat Rocky, which was pretty impressive. Back-to-back wins for Mike Larson. All right, Montana Tech at five. I would probably flip Tech and Western. You got Rocky at six and Northern at seven, so I can't really disagree the bottom half. On the women's side, Carroll's number one, five and one on the frontier. They have won six straight, going back to Phoenix, tournament when they were in Arizona before the holidays. And they keep rolling. Big wins last week over Rocky and Western. He's got Western ranked number two. They're four and two in the frontier. LC State, three and three. And they had a nice weekend beat Northern and Providence at home. They get to stay at home to get uh, Western and Rocky this weekend, both the men and women of LC, the four straight road, or home games. This schedule is screwed up in the frontier. It's been screwed up the last few years, but it's really screwed up this year too. He's got Rocky at number four on the women's side. And then Northern at five, Providence at six, Tech at seven. Okay, so can't really argue with uh, the women's rankings there. Too much. You got uh, Carroll at five and one, Western four and two, and then you have what three teams, three and three. Yep, and then uh, two and four and one and five. So can't really disagree with uh, too much there. All right. Speaking of basketball, their uh, Lewiston Idaho paper. So we know about the Clinker sisters at the University of Idaho from former uh, Fairfield. Molly actually played at Western for a while. But got a little uh, hesitation here on the uh, video, so we'll wait because you have to see this to believe what we're going to talk about here in a second. All right, so you're back. All right. So the Clinkers, was it Natalie and uh, the other sister? 
Name escapes me at the moment. Doesn't matter. But they had a great weekend. Uh, they beat Idaho, or they are playing at Idaho. They've beaten the Lady Grizz. They've beaten the Bobcats back to back weekends. Very nice uh, last couple of weeks for the Clinkers. Okay, here's the headline. It was put up by the Lewiston newspaper. What is it? The uh, Lewiston Tribune in Lewiston, Idaho. It's the uh, headline says Clinker sisters have double D's. Now, in radio, play-by-play or TV play-by-play, we all know what that means. Double-doubles. You know, double figures and points, rebounds, assists, whatever. You get triple-doubles, quadruple-doubles. Double-doubles, much more accurate or much more, uh, happen more often. This is a really bad headline. It's funny, but it's bad. Clinker sisters have double-Ds. Double-doubles. I don't want anybody calling and complaining here. But that is a funny headline, and we just wanted to share it with you here today. All right. Uh, let's get to uh, what else do we got? I think that's good for now. <laughs> I know it's so bad, but it's funny, right? I mean, it's just sometimes you got to be, you got to flow uh, with it. Uh, I did want to go back to something we talked about yesterday, and that is girls wrestling added as a Montana high school sanctioned, uh, state sanctioned sport. There's about 75 girls this year wrestling. It's going to be a winter sport when it starts next year. Females will be able to compete against male or female opponents in the regular season. Proposed weight classes, 103, 113, 126, 138, 152, 170, and 205. The uh, postseason for the girls, no divisional, which is different than the guys. And the state tournament will consist of one classification instead of three. Uh, Mark Beckman, the MHSA executive director, said that, like I said, there's about 75 high school girls wrestling this year. And that includes Cascades Lily Grismer, who's uh, ranked number six this year in the most recent BC rankings at 113. She was fourth last year at the Southern Divisional. So that's very cool. We know girls wrestling is growing across the state. It's awesome. Boys powerlifting was also scheduled or added. It is scheduled for the spring and will include a team and individual competitions. There were, however, some changes and not some changes at the MHSA meetings yesterday. Uh, the current state volleyball bracket, we're going to talk more about this tomorrow. The uh, bracket will stay the, cha- uh, stay the same. So there was a proposal by Glacier to change the bracket that would force teams that win their first two state matches in order to reach the title match. And this goes back to Helena last year in November, reaching the state championship match, losing to Capital, but because they lost early, they had to win three matches Friday, one on Saturday to get to the title match. So Capital or Glacier's proposal is teams that lose in the first uh, first round or the semifinals go to loser's bracket and have no chance to play for first or second place. I'll, we'll talk more about that tomorrow and uh, some other proposals that uh, came up uh, and were passed at the uh, MHSA meetings. So we're, we're going to chat more about that tomorrow uh, here on the Jason Walker Show. All right, let's do On This Day in History, as there were some decent ones today. 1930, Boston Bruins become the first team in NHL history to score 100 goals in a season. Uh, they scored their 100th goal in the 26th game of the year. So before 1930, the NHL had never seen a 100-goal season by a team. 1990, John McEnroe was the first ever player to be expelled from the Australian Open. In uh, 2010, Kobe Bryant became the youngest NBA player to reach 25,000 career points. He was 31 years, 151 days, beat Wilt Chamberlain by 35 days. Happy birthdays. George Vesna, born on this date in 1887. Uh, he was a Canadian ice hockey goalie, and they named the Vesna Trophy after him. He was born in uh, Quebec in 1887, passed away in 1926. But they uh, give the best goalie of the year award, the Vesna Trophy, to, uh, named after him. 1940, Jack Nicholas was born, the greatest golfer, 18 majors, 73 PGA Tour titles, I uh, was born on this date in Columbus, Ohio. 1963, Hakeem Olajuwon was born in Nigeria. Uh, former Rocket Center, won Olympic gold in 96. 
And uh, also, happy 52nd birthday to uh, uh, my uncle, Lloyd, down in Dallas. He's 52 today. I hope he was listening to our conversation earlier today with Bill Ingvall about frequent urination and um, making sure you go get checked to get that prostate looked at. Um, it was a great conversation with Bill Ingvall. If you missed anything earlier, you can download it at jasonwalkershow.com. Uh, we also put up the replays, both video and audio, on the Facebook and the Twitter pages. But uh, you can always go to jasonwalkershow.com for anything that you might have missed and uh, go from there. It's a great website. We love it. And we hope you do too. All right, let's do this. Hold on. Got to get that turned up. Boom. We're almost at the end of the show. What did we learn? And what did he miss? Time for the walk off. All right, the walk-off brought to you by Cafe Zydeco for the best Cajun this side of Louisiana. Make sure you go to Cafe Zydeco. We have gift certificates to give away. If you go to the website, jasonwalkershow.com, get signed up, we'll give you some uh, gift certificates to Cafe Zydeco so you can go get a po' boy or um, breakfast beignets or uh, catfish uh, etouffee or jambalaya, gumbo. It's all good. At Cafe Zydeco, 625 Euclid in Helena, this gift certificate we're going to give away is also good in Helena or Butte. So, all right, what did we miss today? What did we uh, not miss? Let's get to it. It is the walk-off. Uh, there's Crosstown Wrestling at the Bears' Den tonight. Capital Wrestling Squad, very good this year. And a couple of uh, great individual wrestlers over there. Nova Ko- uh, Noah Kovic won at uh, the Jug back over the weekend. Uh, Carson DeRozier, also a former state or past state champion, won last year as a freshman, looking to repeat this year. So Crosstown Wrestling at the Bears Den tonight at uh, Capitol. The AA duels are coming up this weekend at Great Falls, and that is going to be a fantastic one because we're just a couple of weeks away from divisionals, the seeding tournaments, and then state tournament down in Metro Park in Billings, also known as Metra Park in uh, the Magic City. So, double-A duels this weekend at Great Falls. It will be a great test for all the double-A schools. Great Falls, I think, is, uh, in my eyes, the favorite to win state this year. They've uh, won just about everything, including uh, this weekend at the Rocky Mountain Classic, the Jug Back over in uh, the Garden City. I did not bring this up yesterday, and I should have, so forgive me. This would have made a great uh, nominee for the Auto Concepts Performance of the Week, but Trace Tinkle... The former Hellgate star got to 2,000 career points for Oregon State over the weekend. Uh, He's now 12th, I think, all-time in the Pac-12 scoring. But uh, congrats to Trace, the the lefty. uh, He's smooth, and he is a great player. He's now just uh, like 151 points away from Gary Payton uh, mark at Oregon State. So uh, congratulations to uh, Trace Tinkle. That's a pretty cool deal. Appreciate uh, Bill Ingvall joining us earlier today. We had a blast talking with him about, uh, well, prostate health. And you need to go get checked, especially, guys, if you're over 50. I highly recommend it. And so does Bill Ingvall. He'll be in Toppenish, Washington on Friday night, Worley, Idaho on Saturday. Again, if you missed anything, go to jasonwalkershow.com. You can email us anytime, jasonwalkersports at gmail.com. Dot com as well. The walk-off is presented by Cafe Zydeco, 625 Euclid, also Bozeman, Billings, and Butte, and open Monday through Saturday in Helena. And tonight, they're open till 7, so if you're looking for something for dinner, uh, Cafe Zydeco at uh, 625 Euclid in Helena. All right, big, big, uh, big show coming up tomorrow as well. Uh, looking forward to it. And I cannot wait. We are going to chat with Flint Rasmussen. He'll join us to talk PBR. His birthday is coming up this weekend. Plus a very special That's What She Said with Melanie Newman. Had a chance to talk to her uh, recently, but she's one of six female baseball play-by-play announcers in the nation. And she's going to tell us her story coming up tomorrow on the Jason Walker Show. Can't wait for it. Hope to see you then. Make sure you join us, jasonwalkershow.com. For anything you missed from today, Bill Ingvall was our guest. Had a good time with him. Uh, We'll do it again tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you at 4 everywhere that you can watch and listen.
Have a great Tuesday. The Jason Walker Show is produced by the Jason Walker Media Company. Any reuse, rebroadcast, or retransmission without the express written consent of the Jason Walker Show is strictly prohibited. Just listen, watch, and enjoy.